I think the latest report showed that out of 3,000 school districts which have a biracial population, school population, only 780 odd have become integrated to any degree. I don't want to postpone it for 15 minutes. Our school is named after Roy Wilkins, the poet of life from Pierre's one cruise is to my name is the Perry Johnny. Roy Wilkins was the leader of the civil rights movement in the United States. He served for the advancement of colored people from 1955 to 1977. And with that, I'm Maya Robinson reporting live from PS 136. Roy Wilkins was born on August 30th, 1901 in St. Louis, Missouri. Reporting live from PS 136, Tristan Bird. His mother died when he was young and he went to live with his aunt and uncle in St. Paul, Minnesota. Reporting live from Warren Wilkins School, Savannah, Keep It Up. Warren Wilkins attended the University of Minnesota and graduated in 1923. Reporting live from PS 136, Kayla Odila. After graduation, Warren Wilkins became a reporter at the Kansas City Call. Reporting live from PS 136, Adrian Rocco. In Kansas City, Missouri, Warren Wilkins joined the struggle for African American rights. This Jahari is putting for PS 136. Williams began working for the NAACP in 1931, reporting live from PS 136. This is Daniela Gray. Royal Wilkins edited its official publication, The Crisis, between 1934 and 1949. Recording by PS 136. This is Amina. During that time, he also directed the NAACP program, reporting live at PS 136 on the song. was influential in winning the 1954 Brown vs. Board of Education of Topeka. Reporting live from PS 136 Q. I'm Caden Sears. In that case, the Supreme Court ruled that public schools must be open so black and white can be equal. Reporting live from PS 136, Jaden Hardy. In 1955, Roy Wilkins was a appointed executive director of the NAACP. Recorded live, PS 136, Evan Lewis. Throughout his time, the NAACP. Will Wilkins was not to the point violence. Roy Wilkins was awarded the NAACP Bring Them Medal in 1964. Reporting live from PS 136 and Royal Wilkins died in New York on September 8, 1981. Roy!